Welcome to the D chord. Now, if you take a look at what we did there, all we did was we started off with our good old E minor. Pivot. Pivot off the third finger now. Drop. Mute that E. Now you're going to pivot off the third again, but this time you lift it so that it's curled. That old tennis ball grip that we talked about. And you drop these two down. So you're going to come from here to here, and then you're going to take these two and come down here. Now this one's going to be a bit tougher. And again, you want to bring your thumb over the top. If you do end up spilling onto the A string, and you end up hitting the, the A as well as the, um, the other four that you're trying to hit, because this is actually a, a, what, what is known as a four note chord. So if I take a look at this, that is a D chord. But if for some reason you end up hitting the A, that's totally acceptable because the A is actually in a D chord. And I'll go on to what uh, chords are and structures and that sort of stuff later. But basically what we've got now is we've got the makings for writing a song because we have what is known as a one, four, five, and one relative minor. Okay, I'm not going to go into that just yet. I'll do a module right after this about what that exactly is in the key of G. Okay. That's exactly what we've been doing so far, is we're just staying in the key of G. So, again, we have the E minor. Pivot. Pivot up the third and drop down. Deaden that E string. And then, see that motion? Take a good, quick, close look at that, okay? Do that really slow. Now watch this finger here, okay? As I come down, see how that curls up? It's automatic. And that's where you want to be. You want to get this so that as you move these fingers down, that one automatically goes into a curl. So right now it's flat because it's covering both. And then you pull these two off and curl that one up. Okay. Do it again from here. And it doesn't matter if it's from here or from here. It's common. So what you do is this. Okay, I did that slowly so you could see it now. See, watch again. Curl up, drop them down. Curl up, drop them down. And eventually what you want to do is you want to be able to get this to go from here to here in one motion. Okay. That'll take some time, but basically, like I said before, um, on other uh, modules, if you just want to hold the guitar and watch your t favorite TV show, then just do this. All you got to do is do that. Again, pivot, curl that up, and drop those two down. Okay? They're on second on the G and second on the E. And you'll see this in the chord library as well. Again, when you play this chord, if you do hit the A, that's okay. But you want to make sure that you get that thumb over the top to kill that, because you don't want that note there. Okay? Here's what it sounds like with the note. And here's what it sounds like without. Huge difference. So you want to work on that a little bit and get that uh, down. So we can from E minor, pivot to G, okay, pivot off the third, and then curl up, drop down. E minor, pivot.
it off to third. Drop down, kill that E. Curl up, drop down. Okay. So experiment with that. You'll be able to go through uh, um, lots of different chord progressions. Uh, you could even try to go from um, uh, the simple E minor. And then what you do is you can go to a C9. That's a little bit tougher, but essentially what you're doing is, if you take a good close look here, you're going from here, and what you're going to do is you're going to take that finger and drop it here, that there, and that there. So you can get this. So have fun with that and we'll see you at the next module.